You want to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, whether it's an Xbox controller like this, a PlayStation controller, or any other kind of controller, whether it's even a Steam Deck or a Switch Pro controller or a gamepad, whatever you want to play Minecraft with, you can use the mod that we're going to be installing in this video to do it. So let's jump into it. We're going to be using Midnight Controls. As you can see, it supports a ton of controllers here and many more controllers that aren't listed. You can find this link at the second link in the description down below. When you click that, it will take you here. This is the official Midnight Controls download page where we can go to versions and then what we want to do is search for the 1.21.5 game version and the platform we're going to be using is fabric so we want fabric 1.21.5 and now this is the version we want click the three dots on the right hand side here and click download and the download will begin now you will need to keep or save this file it's 100% safe to do that and while it's downloading how to best from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour ddos directed minecraft server for you and your friends at simple game hosting you can easily add mods to your server or plug into your server and even mod packs to your server with just one click. One click mod pack installation makes playing mod packs with your friends super easy and there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz says SGH. Nevertheless with midnight controls downloaded there's a few more things we need to get. The first is the fabric API. The fabric API is a dependency mod that midnight controls needs in order for it to work in game. This is of course linked down below and once you're here go ahead and click the download fabric API button. This will take you to the official download page where we can go to files, sort for that 1.21.5 version and download it here. Click the three dots, click download file. After a few seconds it will download. Just like with everything with Minecraft mods you will need to save this, 100% safe to do that. And the last thing we need to download is fabric. The fabric mod loader sits in between Minecraft and the controller mod allowing them to work together. We can find fabric in the description down below to our in-depth fabric guide. This covers everything, including troubleshooting some potential issues you may have with getting fabric, but we're going to go over the basics in this video, so let's go ahead and click download fabric here to go to the official download page. On this page, go ahead and click the download universal jar link. The reason we're downloading the universal jar is because in the future, it'll be able to install more Minecraft mods easier if we go this way. Let's go ahead and click on the save button here and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, of course, and then we can minimize things and move everything to our desktop. Now, for me, it's going to be in the downloads folder here. We can see the fabric fabric installer. We've also got the fabric API and most importantly we've got midnight controls. That's why we're all here. To start off we're going to need to install fabric. So right click on the fabric installer, click on open with and click Java. But what if you don't have Java here or what if you do you click on it and it doesn't work? Well in both of those cases you need to get Java from the description down below. Java is required for Minecraft mods and this is our in-depth guide on how to get Java for Minecraft mods. It covers everything you need to know to get things up and running and it makes sure you get the version of Java that you need for Minecraft 1.21.5 which is Java 21. I also recommend running the jar fix after you get Java but first get Java, then run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. We can go ahead and open up Fabric by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, and clicking Java. This will open the Fabric installer. All you got to do here is make sure you select the 1.21.5 version, make sure Create Profile is checked, and click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both those are closed. You also need to have played Minecraft 1.21.5 before. I know for some people, they will not play Minecraft Java without a controller. I completely get it, but you will need to open it up to the main menu and close out of it. Once you do that, you'll be able to install Fabric without any issues, and then we can install the controller mod and be good to go. We can go ahead and click OK here to close out of that, close out of the Fabric installer, and delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Let's get the controller mod installed. To do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to go to the Installations tab up here at the top. Then on the Installations tab, make sure Modded is checked. As you can see, it's not checked there, but as soon as we check Modded, there it is. Fabric Loader 1.21.5. If you don't have this, though, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then click the versions drop down box here. You want to select release fabric loader 1.21.5. Boom. I'm also going to set my resolution. Then click install. Make sure launch after install is not checked. If this is checked, it'll launch your Minecraft and we don't want that. So click install. If you get prompted with this, go ahead and click cancel. And now we can install Midnight Controls. Hover over the fabric installation, the, the one that's there, the one that you created, and click on the folder icon that appears. In here, you should have a mods folder. If you don't, just make one. Just make a new folder. So right click, new folder, title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase. Open up your mods folder and drag and drop Midnight Controls and the Fabric API into this mods folder. 
it's that easy to install the controller mod in Minecraft 1.21.5. All you got to do now is close out of the mods folder and play Minecraft using your fabric installation or the one that you created, whichever one is fine. Just play Minecraft, making sure it's the fabric loader 1.21.5 version. Now at this point you can go ahead and plug in your controller. A word of warning though, occasionally when you open up the game, if the controller is already plugged in, it won't recognize. So you have to unplug it and plug it back in once Minecraft is open. But let's just kind of see what happens here once Minecraft, well, is open. So by default, if I try to move around with the joystick, it actually does work. We are good moving around with the joystick here. We can go into options and then on the right hand side, you see this little icon. You can click on that and see some of the midnight control settings here. Not all of them though, right? You can see some of them, but not everything. The rest of them are in the controls tab. And then in the top right, you have this little controller icon. This is where you can do things like gameplay settings, gameplay options, all of that stuff, as well as change controller bindings. By default though, this is very similar to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So most likely you'll just want to leave it the same, but we can jump and use this anywhere. We can even use this on a Minecraft server. And again, I am controlling Minecraft completely using the controller here. So we can go ahead and proceed and then we can join a server of course, we're going to join a simple game hosting server because that's the best way to play Minecraft with your friends. I say it all the time. I mean it. Simple game hosting. Play Minecraft with your friends the simple way. Now, once we're online, like I said, it's very similar to Bedrock Edition. You can just run around. Now, like I said, if you get in game and it's not working, unplug your controller, plug it back in, and we can even do that in game. So, oh, controller disconnected, and then if we connect the controller back, give it a few seconds, and it will recognize it. There we go. X input. That's Xbox input, and I'm now using the controller even though I just unplug it. So, it's pretty forgiving if you accidentally do delete something, all of that stuff, but um, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can play Minecraft Java Edition with the controller. This works with other mods. So feel free to add other fabric mods on top of Midnight Controls, all of that stuff. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.